Right now I'm an intern at People's Store. It's an acting agency in Atlanta, Georgia. And you guys can see all the work that I do there and the people that I work with there and the cool stuff that I'm learning. And you could probably even learn a little bit, you know, a few things, one or two things about acting and the entertainment industry and People's Store if you're interested. So, uh, yeah. Another agent just asked me via email what a client's conflict dates were. He just booked a movie. And he's going to be booked for a super long time. He has like a leading role? It actually just has a couple of lines. But I guess he's going to be in the background a lot of the time. Not saying anything. And maybe they'll give him a word here and there. Make him like improv and stuff. When people are booked on a project, they can be booked on the daily or they can be booked on a weekly. So they're putting him on 30 or 20 <coughs> days. On 20 dailies. And they're not guaranteeing him that employment. But if we start working you and we start working you for like two weeks and then we're done, they got it, we don't think you're going to be anything else, they can just drop them. Oh, okay. And he, so he's not secured employment for those whole 20 days. We're asking the client to you know, hold a certain amount of time for production. What we need to do as agents is to get them a guarantee. Definitely going to be needed and be employed during this time to this time because all of are freelance. But it's up, the, up to the producer to say yes or no. He does not have a guarantee. But I mean, it's a really good opportunity. We closed on a deal and what I'm going to do is send over information, what's called deal info. So deal info consists of your cell phone, your email, your physical address, um, your social security number, your date of birth of your minor, and then we as a courtesy send over sizes as well. So what I've done is I sent over basically number, um, uh, address, email, what have you. And now what casting is going to do is they're going to pull up their own like document, actor name, uh, role, all this stuff, and they're going to input the, the actor information into that form. And that's called a deal memo. What a deal memo does is it's just like, it's basically just a contact card. It's like, okay, the precursor to a, a contract. But a deal memo is a signifier that a, do a deal is done the actor is hired officially and that deal memo is going to be circulated throughout production. But wardrobe will probably get it first. Um, who else will be in contact with the travel coordinator if it's an out-of-town hire will be in contact. And then the ADs, the assistant directors, and usually the second second AD will have the information to coordinate schedules. Second ADs and all ADs really, they follow the, the schedule of production. Like they're there at set and they continue working. And when they're wrapped, they're still working. So oh, wow. a lot of times Dang. when they have to get out schedules, the client won't have it until like the day before. And it's not because they're waiting to the last minute on purpose, it's because they don't know what their day is gonna look like until they finish, they wrapped on that day. I am going to see if we have any auditions so we can see if we can send you to your new computer and see if we can see, no, we do, yay.